a lot of you guys had been asking me to share some of my favorite brands that have really good discovery kits. So I've been working on this list for months now, kind of picking and choosing and sampling through a whole bunch and finding ones that are like unique and stand out in their own way so that I can share them with you. And today I'm going to share a whole bunch. Some of them range from like higher end and some of them are more budget, some of them are clean fragrances. So we have like a whole buffet of things. For you today to sample one of them i don't have to show you because it's in the room where my baby is sleeping and i'm not gonna go in and disturb him he's having a nice little nap and i'm filming in the next room so you just have to take my word for it okay so we are gonna start with teo cabanel i just got this and this was sent to me a lot of these were sent to me this is just the life of a fragrance reviewer you get to sample things right otherwise how can i review them so okay it comes in this beautiful pouch. They have a beige one too that's really pretty. You can choose your pouch and they give you a 25 euro coupon code that you can use towards a purchase of a bottle. So these end up all being free, which is so nice. And this pouch, like I just love the pouch. I love the presentation. I did sample basically all of them at this point and I think my favorite one is actually Trey French. It's a really interesting green floral with like lily of the valley and pear it's not green like it's not a sharp green it's very clean and fresh and really interesting i'm surprised because i don't typically like green scents but that one really really stood out to me so yeah as like a feminine scent that was my favorite and i just i love the presentation i think they've done a great job with their discovery set so this is one then we've got a few more niche ones this is voyage imaginaire okay look at these cute little dabbers the only vice with these is the dabbers like that i'm not a fan of dabbers but the presentation is beautiful they're like a little bit bigger than your average bottle and these are available on raffinade perfumery so every coupon code that i have i'm going to link in the description i do have a coupon code with raffinade perfumery i think it's the scented 10 anyway everything will be in the description and i'll do a pinned comment for all the coupon codes these ones are great because the presentation is clean there are not too many scents they're kind of laid out for you they're easy to digest and tea and rock and roll is my favorite and i have a full bottle of that one it's like a a green tea sort of scent more masculine it's a really nice masculine scent but all of them are really beautiful scents like i can't say i dislike any of them the only problem is i don't like the dabber situation but the perfumers for voyage imaginaire are anique goutel's team so wonderful noses and i love anique goutel and those fragrances so this fragrance house really echoes that sort of style another one that you can get from raffinade perfumery is milano fragrance okay this little box gets me every time it's so cute and so italian it comes with a little guide of all the fragrances the inspirations behind them if i could only get it out of this box so they all sit in there nice and blue and it kind of walks you through the poetry behind each fragrance and the inspiration the notes and transports you to the place that inspired the fragrance so i think this is a really unique beautiful concept they have really really nice fragrances my favorite from their collection is Cortile, but all of them are actually really really nice i like Cortile because it's the most feminine that one i told you guys before smells like jasmine and coffee like a realistic jasmine and coffee not a vanilla supported coffee which you know is like a popular trend this one is like a floral coffee very interesting very true coffee and jasmine scent anyway beautiful fragrances great discovery set also you can find on raffinade perfumery then the one that i don't have to show you physically but that is a wonderful discovery set is from sylvain de la court and that one is really nice orange blossom musk and vanilla collection i did a review of the vanilla line which i was so surprised that the vanilla collection was actually my favorite one of all of them i actually really also like the musks um orange blossom i'm just not a huge fan of orange blossom but i believe that they credit you as well so you purchase your discovery sets and they credit you that back towards a full bottle plus i heard that they always have sales i have yet to get a full bottle from their collection but the ones that stood out to me were vahina and lily lang you can check out my review that i'll link over here of their vanilla collection they are really really beautifully crafted fragrances she used to be the perfumer for guerlain i'm sure a lot of you guys know anyway really nicely crafted fragrances really nice discovery sets and the fact that they credit you back is just a little cherry on top let's go with something a little bit more pocket friendly and clean this is define me this is a fragrance oil kit and they are with coconut oil 
I smelled most of them. I haven't gone through all of them yet, but I love their little presentation. They're little tiny roller balls. How cute are these? They are the smallest little, they're fragrance oils. Like I've never seen fragrance oil um, discovery sets, but they come in these little roller balls, super cute. And my favorite one is Kahana. It's of the ones that I've tried. It's a really nice aquatic scent. And the discovery set is fragrance oils, but they offer hair mist, perfume spray, oils. Um, they have a crystal infused fragrance, which I'll show you in another video. It's the Kahana one, I got it. It has aquamarine crystals inside. I'm such a suck for crystals or crystal infused anything. Anyway, I love their concept, especially if you're into clean fragrances and natural formulations. And yeah, I'll have a promo code for you guys as well. I believe it's the scented 15, but anyway, everything will be linked in the description. So yeah, define me, really, really nice discovery set. Now, you guys remember Pinrose? Pinrose used to be in Sephora. They're no longer in Sephora. They have a really interesting discovery set. Their presentation is these little, what they call petals. So they're like a little towelette and you just apply it on you. I like that they give you like a two of each. I've used one of each one and there's a hefty amount of fragrance in there. They're also clean fragrances, cruelty free, phthalate free everything free so that's nice the ones that stood out to me from here were little dipper or lil dipper that one smells like chanel chanso tendre and then another really unique one was bold soul this is their new one this one is intense it is a tuberose blackberry fragrance very very sweet very long lasting and super intense this one was good another one that stood out to me was cuddle punk but that one's a very specific one it has like apricot and tobacco it's a really unique like sweet tobacco scent very cool go on their website you do the little scent quiz and they show you pictures and you choose which one you like best and then it connects you to the fragrance that they would recommend you based on your responses to those questions for me the quiz wasn't really accurate but still fun and really cute little discovery set we're getting through these quickly 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 the next one is les indemodables this is a beautiful niche fragrance house you can get this as far as i know from raffinade perfumery as well they won the award for best french niche perfume and that was vinny havana i have a full bottle of that they give you all of their little samples in this little baggie really nice presentation as well and the actual fragrance quality is impeccable like really beautifully crafted really interesting my favorite from here was cuir de chine that one was an osmanthus and suede type of scent lovely this one is just an outstanding niche brand okay then we have goldfield and banks i have most of them here not all of them because some of them i've used up and we've kind of lost the little thingy thing i just love their presentation i just love the brand's aesthetic I like them. I like this little zigzaggy thing. This one I got separately. They were having a thing for, they were sending these for free, this new sunset hour, which is actually really pretty. Not super unique and captivating, but I've only worn it once. And it like low key reminded me of Kayali Apple. I don't know. I, I think my nose was being funky that day. Anyway, my favorite one from their collection is definitely Pacific Rock Moss, which I have a full bottle of. For women, I also really like Southern Bloom and Velvet Splendor. Those ones are really, really nice. Probably Velvet Splendor more. It's more of a mature scent, but really unique, really beautiful. I haven't worn it in a while, to be honest. So yeah, I should revisit these. I didn't like a lot of the woody ones though. They were way too woody, but still, I liked the presentation. It was really fun to sample them. Another one that was really good was the, I think it's called Blue Cypress for men. That one's really, really good as well. So they just, I just like the brand. I just like their aesthetic. I like their little sample kits and it was really fun to go through all of them. They come in a nice black and gold box, which was so pretty. And then I got Silky Woods in a completely different presentation with my purchase of um, Pacific Rock Moss. Not a fan, I will say, but I haven't tried it on the skin. I tried it on paper. It was like a smoky woody scent, too, too woody for me. Here is something different, Sniff. These guys have a completely different approach because what you can do is actually you get your trio with the samples and you return what you don't like and you keep what you do like. So you only pay for what you keep 
and I think you can return all of them if you don't like them. They let you try them out. So this is basically your discovery set. They give you the little sample, you try them out, and I love all of them. Like, I actually really, really like all of them. I think Natural Talent is probably my favorite one. That's like a um, suede sort of very intimate skin scent. I really like it though. The other one that's really intense and good is Show Pony. Show Pony is a saffron kind of almost middle eastern type of scent very cool burning bridges is like a smoky vanilla these are like their three main ones i just thought this concept was really amazing that you could actually like get all the bottles and you have them so you don't have to like go back and buy them after sampling them and then you have the samples and you just like whoosh, if you don't like something you just send it back and you just keep what you like so that is awesome and yeah so the natural talent it has apricot suede osmanthus jasmine clementine this one really really nice it it's an intimate scent like it doesn't project like crazy if you want the one that projects like crazy it will be show pony that one has black tea saffron vetiver like like i said like it does have a little bit of a middle eastern vibe very unique very beautiful probably the most unisex of the bunch i really like this brand and they're also a clean fragrance brand so you guys should check them out as well have a code for this one. A lot of these, because I, the way that I discover them is by sampling them from the brand. A lot of them, I do happen to have codes for you. So this one I have, it's the scented 10, you get 10% off. Next up, we have Navitus. We got two of them and I will be doing an unofficial giveaway of these on my Instagram. So head on over and follow me at the scented underscore. Okay, here's the thing. I have actually sprayed some of them, but not all of them. So I hope you guys don't mind. But the thing is, I I would rather gift them to you guys than hang on to them and know that I'm probably not going to end up wearing through them. So there's the black set and the red set. I'm giving away both of them. My favorite one from the whole Navitus collection is probably the Embrace. I find them all quite masculine, I will say. Like, they are all masculine leaning, even the ones with feminine seeming notes do still have this like masculine kind of like, the way my man describes it is like a bro-y scent. They do all smell a little bro-y. So just keep that in mind. Good fragrances, very strong, very, very powerful performing fragrances, but not something for me to wear, but really great discovery sets. I love the presentation. They've done a really great job and I can tell that they like really spent a lot of money on the presentation of these. The red set has the ouds, it has the new XO brandy, very intense scents, really, really cool, mostly masculine. So just keep that in mind and head over to my Instagram for the giveaway. Keep an eye out for that because that's coming up soon. Then we have the Commodity Exploration Kit. What I really like about their discovery sets is that they give you a lot of options. So you can get this whole thing. You can get just the white ones, just the standard ones, or just the, the plus. So I call these the minus and the plus. They're, they have six scents and they're like slightly different formulations, meaning these are a little bit more intimate, these are a little bit more intense and far projecting, and these are the standard. So you can try whatever you want. They have trios you can get, they have like these individual collections, or you can get all of them if you want. And it's nice that they give you that option. I really liked gold and moss. I haven't tried the intense ones on my skin yet, but I like the intimate ones. I like the intimate moss and I like the intimate gold. I really could not stand velvet. Velvet has this sort of sweet rose thing that, oh, oh man, but it was powerful. So if you like that sweet rose thing, I'm telling you guys, it filled up my whole house. I had to air out my house. So that was a catastrophe. Book smells like Santa 33. Milk reminded me of Zadigan Voltaire's This Is Her. Paper I haven't tried yet. Moss, beautiful. I need to try the uh, the Intense, the Moss Plus on my skin. But that one is like a bergamot, kind of citrusy, mossy scent. Really nice for the summer and very unisex. So their whole concept is beautiful. Awesome discovery sets. Not very expensive either. I think this runs for like 40 something Canadian. So very, very good set. 
So there are 10 discovery sets for you guys to check out. I'll do more videos like this if you're interested in finding out more brands with really good discovery sets. I will send them your way. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Let me know what your favorite brand's discovery set is. What should I check out? Because it's always fun to sample stuff, give it a sniff here and there and see what's good. I love getting sample sets in the mail and kind of just going through everything. It's, it's the most fun. Um, and that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.